And there's the inside as well. Ladies and gentlemen, night number one of the Ronnie Adams Memorial doing it. Folks on the back straight away. Going to hold it for you. The greatest sight in all of racing. A four wide salute to the greatest fans in the world. The Cop Cam Super Dairy Series presented by Lucas Oil. And let me tell you, I know Ronnie's looking down right yeah. now and smiling. Let's say in a tribute to one of the. Times out of Fort. Super late model series, so it's a little bitter. Can you pick? <laughs> I'm gonna go with a sleeper pick. I'll go Mo Bags from inside yeah. row number four. I told you, Bagley, a Louisiana late model series victory here a year ago or two years ago, I believe. Here we go, green flag up. Under Opening lap here, Wesley. They fan out and go two different and three different lanes wide on the back straightaway. Turbo and Culp going door to door. The Team C8 cars this year. Sponsored entries. Stovall will lead lap number one in double zero. EA Motorsports battling right behind your leader, Jesse Stovall. Culp started in outside row number two. He currently in the second spot. Here comes Turbo around the outside. Also looking good in the 21 Junior machine as they go to the inside. A little bit of factor as well in turn number three. Bouncing up the track. Kyle Beard almost up in the wall. That'll cost him three spots. Stovall continues to lead down the back straightaway. Hit a steam, making about seven car lengths between him and Culp. Culp drives it in deep on the bottom of turns one and two. Stovall able to get the run off the corner. Double zero, Scott Bailey racing. Front of the reigning comp games of the Dirt Series, champion over Turbo, Tyler Erb, Lucas Oil, late model Dirt Series competitor, Smooth Jr. <laughs> For 10th is heating up as well. Caden Cornell jumps the cushion momentarily back through the pack. That'll cost him at least two spots, maybe three. Here comes EPJ as well. Looking to slide by the fitting machine. Logan Martin starting to roll the bottom, got the nose fix on that 36 machine. Herb going to close the door in three and four. The bottom seems to be the way around on that half of the racetrack. 24 to go in this one. We're one-fifth of the way through it. It's been all the Undertaker thus far, but he is catching lap track. This 30-lap affair so far, it's all Jesse Stovall, all the town. What he's got here in Greenwood, Louisiana tonight, and the caution flag will come out caution for the first time the of this 30-lap affair. You see Earl Pearson Jr. sitting in the middle of the pack here in the number one Black Diamond house car. Just kind of shows, although he's never raced here, pretty tough field here tonight. Jesse Stovall sets the pace, fires off. A little bit of contact there between. Culp going to drive him in on the right rear. As Tyler Herb rolls the top side up to second. More his sights on the C8 of Hollywood, Timothy Culp. Here comes Spencer Hughes. He has figured out his way around that hole. He's going to try the top. He'll go side. Back at Mississippi battling out for the top five right now as Jesse Stovall leads by three car lengths over Tyler Herb. Neil Baggett has shown plenty of streak all night, not in his familiar number 21 X car, but in the number 86 for Rickman Motorsports tonight. Off of four, Moyer Jr. just in front of him. C8 and Turbo Tyler Herb with his crosshairs dialed to the back. Spool of race lead. Here comes Turbo hunting him down for the race lead this time off of four. Here comes Tyler Stovall will continue to lead down into turn number one. We're approaching halfway in this one. Tyler, two car lengths, making a car length and a half down in the back straightaway. In a Stovall slides up the racetrack. Here comes Turbo. They'll almost make contact. Two car lengths into turn number one. Pinching his toes off off the exit of four, back into turn number one. Herb looking for Look to make a mistake this time, and the caution is back out of this 30-lap affair. And Ford, it's Rickman. The Ronnie Adams Memorial, $3,000 on the line. Can Jesse Stovall hold on? About to find out. He'll set the pace. 
Fire off turn three and four. We're back underway here at Boot Hill Speedway. Stovall put that Scott Bailey power. He rolls in the one and two in that Swafford services. Double zero. And someone allow Sierra. Here comes Cole. Second back at the line. A little bit of something on the top side right there in three and four. He'll roll the top in one and two. Going to lose some ground. Culp on the bottom. Track and turn. Herb going to drive it in deep in three and four. At the line. Still Herb by a nose over Culp for second. But Stovall starting to work his way away from him. Herb going to slide up the racetrack. Here comes Hollywood. Timothy Culp. He'll move back to the second spot. Tur Turbo lost a little bit there off the exit of two. He'll go back to the cushion and smash the throttle through the fire. Crossing underneath off the exit of four to the inside of the 11 of Spencer Hughes. Will it be Culp or will it be Turbo or maybe Moyer Jr.? Perhaps Neil Baggett to make a run on the double zero of Jesse Stovall. Stovall trying to get his second ever win here in the great state of Louisiana tonight as the Billings, Missouri racer has showed what he's got for the Show Me State racer. He hustles off on the one hammer in the cushion here, Wesley, as they head, head off a two. Here comes Culp again for the race lead. Culp has figured out the bottom in one and two. He is closed on the back bumper of Stovall. Stovall cuts it a little close from the Uke tire. At the line, two car links separate your top two. Turbo right there in tow. Stovall going to go back to the top side in one and two. Turbo following suit. Here comes Hollywood down the Trying to capitalize off of a big year winning the championship. Trying to pick up the season opener. Caution on the speed. Dude, it was a wait to see what's going to happen in the last 14. Well, you know, Turbo doesn't have to have Randall Edwards beat the sheet metal out. He can just tell Culp to get after it this week. <laughs> so he's going to leave. for a second. Colt and Turbo. Way back to the top shelf comes Tyler Herb again off of turn number four for second. Battle now for the lead. Stovall got two. Twelve laps. Comes Turbo. And an absolute Michael Jackson thriller tonight here at the Boot Hill Speedway. You got three different lines being contested. And here comes Irving. Lead. He'll go to the bottom of the turns three and four. Drift a look to the middle off the exit of four in the double zero black diamond race car. The pair of Rocket XR1s, third and four. Billy Moyer Jr. still fourth. Neil Baggett, fifth Wesley as they roll off of four back into one. Yes. the third spot, Billy Moore Jr. and Neil Bank complete your top five. Hughes, Robinson, uh, and Mo Bags, Morgan Bagley doing battle with Earl Pearson Jr. to complete your top ten. Get six colleagues, man, almost eight, as Jesse Stovall pulled the C8 of Tyler Herb down the front stretch. And, and certainly doing it well here tonight in Greenwood, Louisiana, the Boot Hill Speedway. Stovall still leads. He's led every single circuit of this one. As the C8 of the 91 of Turbo Tyler Herb out of New Waverly, Texas, now resides out of Ohio. And their Colt just leads to fourth now as the Capital Race Car. Nutrient Ag number 21 goes to third now. Turbo closed the gap to about four car lengths that last time. Hooked the bottom and turns three and four at the car lengths between Stovall and Herb. Five laps remaining. <laughs> Moyer Jr. half a straightaway back. Your top two in a league of their own right now. Stovall going to pull front straight number one. Arnold was off the pace momentarily, but he's back going. Here comes Turbo down the back straightaway. To Herb marching in the C8 machine. It's a how bad do you want it? Show me what you got Friday night special here in the great state of Louisiana. Just 
before the Texas State line right here in Northwest Louisiana. It's going to be the Billing Missouri racer showing what he's got here tonight. But here comes Tyler Erb for the race lead. Now the back straightaway lap traffic may become a factor in this one. And he'll go back to the top shelf on three four and try to find a run. Here comes Erb off of turn number four for the race lead. Two laps. What a dandy we got in the season opener. Both of them going to go to the top side in one and two. Stovall versus Erb. We've seen it time and time again. We're going to go to the bottom in turns three and four. Erb to the top coming around to the white flag. At the line, two calling. Oh. Stovall can't get to the bottom. Can't see on the bottom. Stovall versus Erb. Dollar Erb last lap. High five, brother. High five. Hell yeah. Take that. Y'all call us Jesse. Brooks special tonight here at Boot Hill. Wesley Gwaltney hit a track side. Second to last behind 92 in front of 14. Teammate Timothy Culp telling him he got lucky there as the C8 was moving to the front. Well, C8 won, Timothy. It's just the camo won. And you know what? You were right. Tyler Herb does look good in camo because tonight he's in victory lane here. Night number one of the Ronnie Adams Memorial. Wait for him to climb from the car. A man who is now $3,000 richer out of New Waverly, Texas. Give it up for Turbo Tyler Herb. What a race! As he gets a congratulatory hug there from his teammate and car owner. Can you believe that one? Timothy Culp, car owner. First off, what a race. What was going on there those last few laps? You started catching him, you ran the same line as him in one and two, and you saw lap traffic coming up. You just put it on the cushion and let her rip. Yeah, I could get through this in a little bit better. I just had to slow down. Like when Timmy passed me there, I started driving a little too hard. But I, uh, you know, it just kept getting dirtier and dirtier in this end. And uh, I tried it three or four laps, and I saw it was five to go. So I, uh, I was kind of hoping he would duck down that last corner like he did, and it, it just it worked out in our favor for once. This event means so much. First annual Ronnie Adams Memorial. I know you grew up just up the road in New Waverly, Texas. What does it mean to win something like this in a crowd that pretty much is hometown for you? Yeah, that's awesome. Ronnie, he was a, you know, he's an awesome man. I raced with him from the time I was 14, 15 years old. And, uh, you know, I always just heard the stories about him racing here and things like that. So I'm, uh, I'm super excited to win this, uh, you know, in memory of him and everything like that. But uh, I really just want to thank Timmy for, you know, giving me a chance to come down here and race. Uh, me and him are good buddies. He come and helped me a lot um, down in Florida and just things like that when he didn't really have to. So I appreciate that. And uh, the whole Bennings family, uh, best performance, Jeff and Eric, for letting me come down here. Randall, you know, all my crew, they're back there working this week. And I got to come down here and race. Um, this is just, it's pretty cool. My mom, my dad. Randall's brother's here, this is where he's from, uh, Sticky Street, just everybody that, uh, you know, I haven't seen in a long, long time, they come here tonight to help me and to win in front of them, just, it means a lot. There's no other way to do it, honor Ronnie Adams with a last lap pass at the Boot Hill Speedway. Yeah, the track was awesome, hats off to them, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. All right, your feature winner tonight of night number one of the Ronnie Adams Memorial, Turbo Tower. Approaching lap traffic, did you think you could make a stick there on the bottom, or did you know he was coming up top? Well, you know, you just you're leading a race, and you you've ran there the whole race, and you try to be conservative, and and you give them guys that uh, are in front of you the benefit of the doubt that they can drive a race car and they about spin out in front of you coming to the checker flag and you know it's, he did a good job he's a good, I like him a lot he's aggressive and you know if I was him that's what I would have done to him the last lap so he's just uh, he's a good racer and and uh, you know I've been around him a long time he's and we, we give each other a good good hard time it's all in fun but you know I still think uh, I'm better than him. <laughs> Jesse Stovall laying down the gauntlet. $7,000 on the line tomorrow night. How do you feel about your chances? 
oh good this car is really good we um switched our shock program up and and uh, man i just I, I can't say enough about that and and you know we're just kind of a skeleton team right now and everybody just kind of comes along and and and, uh, and right now everybody's doing an awesome job that's here with me tonight and just like in florida and you know we'll uh, we'll just keep digging here and and uh, you know i can't be i can't hang my head about a second place even it's just uh this racing's a tough deal and if you can finish in the top three top five you're you've had a good night anytime all right, your second place finisher, Jesse Stovall. I will, I will. And your third place finisher, what a night you've had. Didn't qualify very well. Go from sixth to third in your heat race and then drive up to the third spot tonight. You had it hooked up. You know, you fought through a lot of adversity, but the racetrack just seemed to be going your way. Uh, the track was in great shape. I uh, just It was all my fault qualifying. I don't know what I was thinking. I just didn't get up high enough and buried us for the night. I don't know if we could have beat them, but I guarantee you we would have not started six in the heat, but that's all my fault. And uh, uh, we got a good capital race car here and just try to hopefully get up on the front row of the heat race tomorrow. And, uh, you know, the driver made a huge mistake, and luckily the car kind of helped me make up through it throughout the night. But good job to Tyler and them, Jesse. They've done a good job. But, you know, if he was going to tell me we was going to start six in a heat race and then up on the front row or front of the stretch you know i'd be out here i'd be happy so uh you know i just want to thank all my sponsors nutrient ag solutions uh has horizontal massive valley transportations fk rod ends everybody on my car my crew over there tyler tyler boomer all them guys uh uh everybody that helps us you know and uh main thing we're here for ronnie adams and that guy uh you know growing up he always liked me for some reason i don't know why he, he would come up and talk to me and uh i just got a lot of respect for him over the years he uh he was a good racer and I, I hated to lose him too soon but uh, definitely uh, I appreciate how he treated me over the years and I tried to respect him as you know the same way but that's why we're here and the family's here I you know hopefully they they see a good race in his honor well uh, Ronnie absolutely got an amazing show tonight congratulations third place finisher tonight Billy Moyer jr. That'll do it for this evening's action with the Comcam 